GoButton 2.1 has been completely redesigned for iOS 7. In addition to bug fixes and other improvements, there are a couple new features that I'd like to show you. The first are two new preferences that are available from the sidebar panel. From the home screen, click the icon to open the sidebar, and you'll see the new preferences option under the settings menu. The new preferences are options to choose between the pause and the stop button for the second player button, as well as being able to move the go button position top or bottom, right or left. Upgrading users will continue to see the stop button. Going forward, the new default is going to be the pause button. This is pause your entire show, tap anywhere to resume. Long press on the stop button pauses your show. Long press on the pause button stops your show. Let's take a look at that in action. Any cues and any hits that are playing are paused. The number badge for any currently playing cues glow yellow as well as the elapsed show timer while the show is paused. From here you can tap stop to stop and reset the entire show or you can tap the go button which now says resume or anywhere on the screen to resume exactly where you left off. Also new in 2.1 you can access the sidebar panel from within the show while in edit mode. So let's go back to the preferences and look at the go button position. Tapping each one of these options, as you'll see behind, immediately repositions the screen. Cues stay located on the same side as the button, and the elapsed show timer is off to the side. Both of these preferences apply to your entire app, so you don't need to set them for each show. Another new feature in GoButton 2.1 is the new queue template. Previously, all new queues were set to the auto stop preset. Now in 2.1, there's a new option in the sidebar where you can set exactly how you want your new queues to be created. You can set a default volume. You can choose which preset gets set. You can also customize the preset and set any of these additional options. And we'll set auto follow with an overlap of minus five seconds. And we can even set a fade out time of 10 seconds. Hit done and that saves the template. Now any new queues that we create will all have those default settings. Let's just make a bunch of queues here with all the standard files. Now if we go into one of the queues we just created, we'll see that all the settings we chose in the template are now the defaults for this queue. This makes it really handy to create a large number of queues that all have the same settings. Also, we can see here on this queue, the 10 second fade out time that I specified is red, which indicates that it's longer than the queue itself. This is another new improvement in 2.1. You no longer have to worry about making fade out times be shorter than the duration. The player is smart enough to know that its maximum duration is six seconds long for this audio file, and it will constrain the fade out time as indicated by the new slope starting at full volume and ending at end volume. This also applies to fade out times and fade in times that would have normally overlapped and given you a validation warning before. Now the lines indicating the fade out slope just show you that at this point in the fade in, the fade out is going to begin at whatever volume it happens to be at. This can be adjusted very simply. The last new feature I want to show you is ducking. Ducking comes in really handy when you have voiceover cues or any other kind of track that needs to be heard over the top of other music. The way ducking works in GoButton is you go into Cue Edit and you turn on Duck Other Cues. Now as long as this cue is running, all other cues volumes are reduced by this set percentage. Let's make that 75% to make sure that the cue is really heard over the top of the background music. Now when we have the pre-show music playing, we can play the pre-show voiceover at any time and it will make sure that the pre-show music volume drops out by 75% as long as the pre-show voiceover is playing. Let's listen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. So those are some of the new features in GoButton 2.1. In addition to these new features, there are the new Go Actions Stop and Stop Cue Go Next, which is great for a jump cue and an alternative to using Stop Others. Also, the new Go Actions Fade to Half, Fade to Quarter, and Fade Up to Full. 
allow you to do manual mid queue ducking by just tapping the go button on one queue. For the full list of new features and improvements, you can read the change log at the end of the Go button user manual. The Go button is available worldwide on the App Store. Please follow at GoButtonApp for news and updates, and thanks for watching.